Now listen carefully. Until you are consciously conscious of God's faithfulness of what God can do and of all that the Lord represents, you remain conscious. You remain caught short. Until you are conscious, you remain caught short. You have a responsibility to be conscious of your deliverance. And then you are delivered. You have a responsibility to be conscious of your liberty. And then you are saved. She could have died in the dream. And they say she slept last night. We slept together. No one will secure you outside you. Are you, are you listening? There is no day that I'm not conscious of what my father is able to do over me, over my children, and the work of my hands. Hallelujah. And I carry an understanding that he is not just the God of all. He is my personal God. And we run a personal relationship. The father and son relationship. Every time Jesus said before the Pharisees, I and the father are one. They get angry. It doesn't matter who is angry at what you believe. What matter is are you affirming what you believe? You have a responsibility to wake up into the consciousness of your liberty. It is the first Sunday of the year. Jesus said to them, Thou shalt have whatsoever you say. It says, If thou say to this mountain, Get up! Be cast forth to the sea. And thou doubtest not in your heart. But you believe that those things which he said come to pass. The Bible say, and then thou shalt have what so ever you see. So if I consciously stand up in the midst of dryness and I say in the name of Jesus, it's more than enough. Then I have whatsoever I say. And if I come consciously, are you following me right now? In the blueprint of what God is saying, if I come consciously in the blueprint of what God is saying, then I become the epistle of what has been said. Let me come again. If I come consciously in what God is saying, I become the epistle of what has been said. I become the testimony. Now listen carefully. Some of you are too big to take down notes. Neither you're too big to listen carefully to instructions following details. Some of you went to school, perhaps you are still showing the same thing you exhibit in school. You were always in the classroom not listening and then you keep asking for what was said in the class. And then you, either you take note few days to the exam. Imagine a mother of 
three children at our age giving a full detailed summary of the message of December and shutting ourselves in and saying to God it has to be victory at last some of you immediately you step out of the door you have forgotten what was said in the service she had the detail and then she said on the following Tuesday Pastor Benga came again laying emphasis of what was said listen carefully nothing gives liberty outside the entrance of the world until it enters inside of you there is no gimmicks nothing is being done nothing is done here in this assembly i don't know where else outside of this world you see what is producing the testimony it's not because there is a pastor who stands to speak words over your life no 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 jesus said were there not ten that was cleansed what took place when you hear the word come you go through cleansing cleansing means clean the wound you are not healed is somebody following me right now cleansing means clean the wound you are not healed so but when you come back again to the doctor he continued the process of treatment healing takes place that's why jesus said since you have returned go now you are what made whole so you know what there is a level of cleansing and there is a level of wholeness so you have a duty why don't you lift up your voice and say, Father, give me the consciousness of change. Help me, Lord. Help me. Help me. Open your mouth. Just give me, Lord, the consciousness of change. Help me to change. Help me to do the right thing this year. Help me, Lord, to do the right thing. Give me, Lord, the consciousness of change. Meru Shata. Infaseke Elo. Embotula bike maruta yenti keko lo lo frekrim in the baata enzuta bisaki yati kila ande belo zopre in the faki mahati Lord Jesus, I give you praise. In Jesus' mightiest name, we are freed. Amen. Once has the Lord spoken, and twice have I had it. That all power, all power belongs to God. You need to believe what he has said and stay believing. Are you following me right now? You need to believe what he has said and stay believing. Thy walls were found. I did eat them. I ate them. It became the joy and the rejoicing of my heart. Why? Because I heard something. Are you listening right now? I see the best of heaven be made manifest on your life now. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Father, thank you. Holy Ghost, thank you. King of glory, thank you. Breathe now on your wall. And show us, Lord, the way forward. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you as you comfortably have your seat. <clears throat> if you will listen, hallelujah. You can bring the stage down a little bit and increase the house. If you will listen carefully, then the very best of God will be made manifest on your life. Thank you. Now, God is in the business of lifting men. The Bible says, <coughs> he is the lifter of my head. Are you following me right now? You have entered a new year that the devil did everything for you not to see. Are you with me right now? You have entered a new year that he did everything for you not to see. And if you have seen the year, he's going to be trying to do everything for you not to win. 
Are you listening right now? So you've got a huge responsibility on your shoulder to determine your liberty, your winning. And the good news we have here is the Bible says two things. One, he daily loads us with benefit. So we, we carry the consciousness that there is a God irrespective of how I woke up on any day. Uh, <laughs> so I, maybe I, perhaps I woke up and somebody I woke up with one somebody's trying to introduce bad news. Irrespective of what they try to introduce, he says, I daily load you with benefits. So what God does is every day he carries the benefit of blessing and put it at your doorstep. I can bring a parcel to your house, drop it at your doorstep. Everyone, if you are in the Western world where every house must have their, you know, their parcel or whereby you must check, it's your responsibility to open it and bring out the parcel every day. Are you following me right now? And if I choose not to open it in two weeks, I will find all of that place filled up with parcels. And then some need quick response. I need to quickly respond to some. So if you don't pick the daily loads of benefit, he dies that day. He says the manna is for each day. So some left the blessing of Saturday. And why? Because they thought it's only on Sunday God visits. But he said, I daily Lord, so I want to make sure in my agenda as God that every day is a blessing to Allah Tunji. And my responsibility as he is God is to daily load him. For I know the thoughts I am thinking towards you. They are the thoughts of good and not of evil. Because some thoughts of evil will come. Because some people will think evil for you. Carry this understanding every day. That even the person seated next to you, that both of you are praying, Jesus, Jesus, he's thinking evil. He said, but I know, but my own thought is not evil. And the thought of the wicked cannot prevail against the thought of God until you are allowed. Paul says, there are two nations inside of me warring. They are fighting. They are fighting. One wants me to do otherwise. One wants me to do what is right. He said, but I have, I have positioned myself, aligned myself to do the right thing. Now, second thing. Hebrews chapter 12. The Bible was speaking to us from verses 20, then what? 22. And then it said, we have come. Amen? We, from 32. It said, we have come, okay, to Mount Zion, unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem. A consciousness that every day my step is into the heavenly Jerusalem. Jerusalem that cannot be seen by man. But carrying a consciousness that that is where I am entering. That that is where I have stepped into what seeth thou. Behold, I have seen an amorty. Ha! In the wilderness, God said, if that is what you have seen, he said, thou art well seen. Abraham, sir. Abraham, sir. You have given the best part of the land to your brother, Lord. Yes, sir. I offer it as a sacrifice. Abraham, I am the Lord, your God. Look now. Eastward, south, west, and not and on every side including what you gave lot i will give you why you have come 
unto Mount Zion, the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to what? An innumerable company of angels. Wake up, because today all I'm going to drop on you is understanding. To the innumerable company of angels, angels, company of angels, listen to me. For the Lord makes his ministers, everyone who are conscious of God are the ministers, flames of fire. And he makes his angels ministering spirits, spirits that ministers. You need to enter an office and the person has given instruction to his secretary today. I don't want to see anybody. In fact, emphatically, there is one who go or care for. I don't want to see him today. He alone. And then when you enter the office, the secretary says, sir, it's because you have been giving me some little, little tip or gap emphatically says he doesn't want to see you. It's not another opportunity to be sad. It's not another opportunity to be bad. He doesn't want to see you. There is something that can compel him to see you. The Bible calls it the ministering spirit. Oh, thank you young man. You've done your own job. What a glorious God. Father, I give you praise. I just thank you. Oh, once in a while I did this, you know who I am. And then you enter your office. Where are my ministering spirits? Kulu Fata Ahi Semeko Lomfredisa. Angels of assignment. Go now to his office and pass an instruction. Speak to his heart. Compel him. If you must cane him, kill him, flog him, flog him. Let him jump up on his feet. Now, listen to me right now. You don't start saying it until you start growing with it. The day you try to walk, is it the day you walk? The day you try to sit, is it the day you sat? No. But when it becomes a lifestyle, it becomes a reality. You start by saying, my ministering spirit, go and fix it. Fix the container. Open the doors. And then you expect those who didn't see it open. They want to know if you are truly in control. If somebody just come to the barracks right now, all of you soldiers, all of you soldiers, come and take position. They just look at him. Until they can be so sure is the commandant. Are you listening right now? So, until, and then he began to show proofs that he's the commandant. This is the new commandant dispatch here right now. Immediately, he began to show, he began to know that there's going to be an instruction. Order will be passed from every signal. Somebody who is a commanding officer has stepped into his office and then everybody follows the order. And then if he tells you, stand here now, he won't tell you, he will just say, stand here now until he comes back to tell you otherwise. You are there 24 hours. One spot. So, you carry a duty and a responsibility to know that this is who you are. The evil in Jerusalem. Look at what it says in verse 22, 23. It says, and to the general assembly and the church of the firstborn. I'm not in a church because I'm in a building. No. I'm in a church because I am the church. Every time I move, I am the temple of Yeshua. And everything Yeshua represents is being made manifest on my life. Are you listening right now? It says, the church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven. And to God, the judge of all. If the judge of all judge is with me, who can condemn me? Carry it. Until you are conscious, you remain caught short. The judge of all and to the spirit of just men made perfect. They are just ordinary men yet in perfection. Because they carry a particular spirit, things will work. 
things we speak well. The doors are opening. In the name of Jesus. He said, look at the poor. He said, let the poor say, I'm rich. Let the weak say, I'm strong. I have health. I have health. I have life. I have life. I have health. I have health. I have life. And I have life. See, then thou shalt have whatsoever you see if you would truly change your perspective then you will start seeing the mind of God now listen to the declaration of this month Genesis chapter 14 and I want you to listen carefully from verses 1 and it came to pass in the days of Amraphel, king of Sina, the same day of Ariok, king of Elasa, these were all king, that's king number two, Chedolahoma, king of Elam, number three, and Tedah, king of nations, he is number four. He was a king over nations. He's not just one. Are you listening right now? That these people made war with Bera, king of Sodom. At the same time, they were fighting Sodom with Bashar, king of Gomorrah. So, Sodom and Gomorrah were two different nations. And these four people were fighting them because most of we talk Sodom and Gomorrah is just their name. And then the Bible says, Sinab, king of Adma. That's number three person they were fighting. And Shema, king of Zebohim. And the king of Bela, which is Zoa. All these people joined force in the valley of Zidim which is the salt city. Twelve years they served. You know, they've been held captive now. And they served one of the four kings, which is Jedoloma. And in the thirteenth year, they what? They rebel. They wanted a way out. And in the fourteenth year came Jedoloma, the king and the kings that were with him, the Bible says, with anger, they smote Raphims in Asteroth, Kenham, and the Zuzim in Ham. They were just killing people. It doesn't matter how beautiful and how glorious the year is from the beginning. The end is always better than the beginning. So, do not dwell on the glory of the beginning. Do not dwell on it has been prophesied of the beginning. He said, concerning the prophets that is ahead of you, I beseech you, fight war. You must labor to secure it. He said to me, it is blessings everywhere. You must fight to see it. Just imagine that we say IWC will be built, and we come every day on the line. IWC built, built, built. Come it, it come it, it come it, it come it. Oh, Masata, Bila, can do. Babsi for faith without walking, doing it is dead. He said, "We know you have faith, but you are as dead men." Oh. It's been prophesied. Marital settlement. I'm going to be married. And you continue with the same lifestyle of snobbing people, not listening. You've got to move out to be seen. Yes. Are you following me right now? Don't buy the makeup, makeup in the house. Don't sit at home. Go out yes. to be noticed. Yes. And as you're going out, ministering spirits, go and compare them. Minister to them. Yes. Let them locate me. 
And as it is applied to the man, it applied to the girl. Don't carry it on your head. I'm a farm boy. There are plenty of stupid farm boys on the road. <laughs> not having anybody, not coming in contact with anyone. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And the Bible says, they killed everyone. Verse 6, and the Horites in their mount, say, upon El Paran, which is by the wilderness, they were angry. The Bible says, and they returned, and now came to enemies fault. I want you to listen. Which is by the wilderness, hallelujah, I mean, Father, which is Kadesh, and smooths all the country of the Amalekites, also the Amorites that dwell in Addison Tamar. And they went out to the king of Sodom and the king of Gomorrah and the king of Adma, the king of Zeboim, the king of Bela, that's the same in Zohar. And they joined battle with them in the valley of Zedom. With, with what? Uh, the king of Elam. And with Tadar, king of nations. These same people were still existing. This, all of them. Just imagine how powerful they are. They, they've conquered territories. They were killing people anyhow. They took them first for 13 years, enslaved them. Those ones decided to rebel. They decided to finish. Let us end their race. So which means they were so powerful. Now the Bible says, and they, they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah and all their virtuous and went their way but made a mistake. He made a mistake. And go to verses 12. And they took also, verse 12, they took also lots. You could have conquered all you want. It's not everybody that can be taken. There are people who are beneficiaries of covenants. There are people that cannot be touched. Hello? And there are people who cannot be touched. You must let your children know, sirs. If anything is happening to everyone, it's common. But not you. Because you are not common. Are, are you following me right now? They are special, special breed, operators of strange grace, carriers of only imaginable powers. People can be struggling to break through. Not us. No, not us. It is, it is in the consciousness of blessings everywhere. Oh, others might be struggling. Hello. You must determine your financial status every month. You determine your financial status weekly until you, you consciously say Monday to Wednesday is midweek and this is what I must have achieved. You, you put yourself to it. The first week, God will be looking at you like you're joking. And after maybe perhaps three weeks, he didn't come. God said, Now nah, this young man is serious. You know what happens? So God will say he has done his part by doing what? Look at this. The steps of the righteous are what? Not their legs. Everyone, all you have is a leg until you move. So God will say, oh, and he says steps. So he moved. Oh, the guy moved the first week. Oh, nobody will help you. Even angels will be sleeping. It's not serious. He moved the second one. When they are coming first on the road to see whether he has moved the third one, he said, the boy is moving. Oh. Ah. And then he said, it becomes steps. Oh, okay, let's help him. He said, now, order his steps now. So he's still the one moving, but when he wants to put it here, they just shift the leg, it's this side. He just move again. This side, they just see the leg is here. They just make sure where the leg eventually land is good. If thou shalt return to the Almighty, thou shalt be built up. Ah! I 
and thereby thou shalt begin to lay up gold as dust. Wake up. Only the owner of your life, that is God, knows where your fortune are. Are you listening right now? I came into Abuja. It's going to be 12 years. June 16. When God said the commission was going to start July 3rd, 2010. We slept under the bridge. He was our step. That we enter solely along. He was our step of faith. Not knowing where we are going. Abraham seek God. Who is the builder and maker of all things. Some houses are built by some men. But the builder of all things is God. And then when God saw we were taking those steps, God said, now, let me help them. He said, began to guide other the steps out of nothing, with nothing. There are churches that have been here for 30 years, cannot boast of a roof. To God be the glory. So, it's a chapter of grace. And you need to stay in the consciousness that you are not everyone that can be defeated. So, they took lots. Abraham's brother's son. Hold on. The covenant was with Abraham. But there is an extension. There is a covering. I made a covenant with my beloved bride, Magada. His extended nephews can't be affected. They can't be touched. So the Bible says they took him. Ah! He was dwelling in Sodom when they were taking Sodom. And they took his goods and departed. And there came one. One man escaped. That had escaped. One man. And he told Abraham, the Hebrew, for he dwell in the plain of Mamre, the Amorites. Don't forget that he was dwelling inside the Mamorites. And if you look up, the Bible said they defaulted the land of the Amorites. Yes. Somebody was there. Yes. God visited in the heat of the war. God was telling him by this time next year, I'm going to visit your wife. So, the, he was in the land with his wife. Because if you look up there, the Bible said they conquered Amorites. They took Amorites, but he was not defeated. Are you listening right now? The war was going on. This guy was still under the tree, enjoying the cool breeze of the day. They say, covenant! And he was conscious of what he was carrying. He be more fin woo by me. He be more fin woo. He be more fin woo. Keshuma babeje. There is something that makes me special to you, Lord. Don't let the enemy touch it. Don't let the enemy ruin it. There, there is your special hand that singles me out. Don't let the enemy touch it. And then the Bible says. He took his brother in verse 40. And when Abraham had it, that his brother was taken captive, when he had it, I'm going to show you something strange. He armed his trained servant. The guy, before entering into 2022, he was prepared. He was prepared. One man. The Bible says his train servant born every and all the servants were born in his house. So from when they were born, he started training them. You, you have a future. You are unkillable. You, there is glory inside of you. You cannot be defeated. The Bible says he trained them. They were born in his own house, not in some house. 
in his own house under his roof. 318. Ah! As they were being born like this, he just all his servants were giving birth to slaves. <laughs> and so, even though you were born as a slave, train your mind. He was, he was training them. Telling them, there's a future. You're a fighter. You're a fighter. You're a f Everyone born was born seen as a fighter. And the Bible says, 318 men. And he pursued unto them. Something happened. He divided himself against them. He and his servant. Don't forget this who have conquered nations. And there is one who was a control of nations. They were just 319 people. Himself and 318 men. Twenty twenty two, you will not die like chicken. Amen. You will not lose anything. Amen. I'm speaking over your life. You will not lose any good thing. Amen. Before your very eyes, your children will not weep. Amen. Before your very eyes, your loved one will not lose anything. Amen. I'm speaking over you. You see, when God says blessings everywhere, it is also winning everywhere. Yes. Please sit down. The Bible says, He pursued them unto Hoba, which is on the left hand of Damascus. Damascus is Maduguri. No, go and study it. Damascus is Maduguri. He pursued them unto Damascus. That's the city of war. And he brought back. Everybody look, listen carefully. He brought back all the goose, all, all the goose. He also brought again his brother. Ah! He was like the U.S. Army that entered Sabisa Forest without the knowledge of our chief commander and rescued the America on torch. And you think it's not possible. Hello? You think it's not possible. He went into the camp of the of, of the evil doers and rescued what is his own. There is a huge responsibility on your shoulder. You must not lose anything. You must not. You are not a loser. You are not a loser. You are not. I'm saying it on you now. You are naturally a winner. No. Others can lose things, not you. Not you. Amen. Others can fail. Not you. Amen. As for you, you will end well. Amen. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Tell me I'm not like others. No, 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 no. Say it consciously. I'm not like others. My friend, say it consciously. I'm not like others. Say it has nothing to do with my background. I am ending well. Tell me every day to me. Is a, a winning opportunity. Now sit down. Can you imagine Abraham sitting down? Hey, go, Lotto, ah, ah. Why this? Wake up, thou slumber from thy sleep. Wake up with consciousness. They just told you, and you lose that contract, you will get another one. Hello? No. I don't lose one to get another. It's the God of again and again. I want this job now. Anyone who is in this office, I will not make it possible. You will be taken. You are out. You are out now. Now, now, now. I'm the one who should decide whether I don't want it. Not you tell me you can't give me. Never. 2022 is blessings everywhere. It's everywhere. Are you listening right now? It's everywhere. I go to it. God bless you. Ah, I love that one. Everywhere in every day. And so the Bible says, 
he brought all the people again his brother his goose and the women also and the people now listen everyone in his house was trained a winner not as losers so 318 men went against nations they did not lose one bit not in my lifetime listen not in my lifetime will I bury any minister of God under me no 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 as the Lord live not in my lifetime not in if a 70 years old man joined this assembly now he's a young boy is <laughs> a it's a strange order there is nothing like uh, this is a family calamity it always happened the dad said here not here not here not here once has the lord spoken twice have i had it that all the power all all not once ah. i want to provoke everyone now how many want to hit their first hundred million before march one before much i speak now listen to me just listen to what i want to say listen carefully i speak now by the authority of the living god god will put you in the company of the mighty yeah. uh, that's number one you have to be in a particular company that can push some mighty things and as you are in the company of the mighty God will give you the idea that the mighty needs. <laughs> That's relevance. You suddenly become relevant. It is when they know you are relevant that they will speak to you about mighty things. Oh, waka parasake. Hello, sata, yata, 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 yata. I speak now. Your creative ideas we speak ayate yepa ye kokoto biran sake as your idea is speaking it will deliver more than enough if you believe it, can I hear your loud name? Amen. Therefore, I enlist you to the realm of multi billionaires. <laughs> I speak in the name of Jesus. I enlist you now to the realm of multi billionaires. Mm. It is all. You may please have your seat. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. By understanding, Abraham never took the trade of fighting, he took the trade of a farmer. And as a farmer, nobody took cognizance of him. They asked what it takes to fight. Because he was training himself in his house. <laughs> he goes online, asks Google, how can you make a hundred billion dollars legally? What are the fundamental secrets of financial prudence? Prudence is making what is coming to stay. You are not rich because you wear Gucci. Or you carry Louis Vuitton's bag. That's your head, the key. You see this bag of mine? 
I bought it 14,000 pounds. Congratulations. Nobody will judge your influence by the sunshade you bought one thousand dollars but the results and the influence that you are able to command how do i find myself in the company of the great everything is online how do i disassociate myself from parasite as friends And then, because until you find yourself in the con- I've just prayed for you and I've launched you in the ha- ma- like arrow. If they shoot arrow like this and the arrow say, I want to go here, the one who release it has no control again. Yes, sir. You go where you want to go. Lord, thank you for the, my ministering spirit. They will minister the company of the mighty. They will minister the company of the mighty. You begin to go to mighty places. Yes great places yes. where you meet mighty people mm-hmm. dress well don't see anything as a casual movement nobody there they go not just that street mm. no mm. as you dress you are dress yes. are you following me right now thank you lord jesus you enter a store how much is this thing 15,000. Ah! How much you go buy for Yaba? <laughs> you can't come up. Because it's bigger. It's, it's enough for your screen. You can't accommodate it. And because you can't accommodate it, it won't come to you. Oh, glory to God. Even though you don't, you don't have the money. Wonderful. It's not even that expensive. I thought it was much. Thank you. As you turn, Father, in a short while from now, I'm not coming for one. I'm coming for more. Lord, I give you praise. It means your response has shown you didn't conquer, it's not conquering you. You conquered it. So the Bible says he recovered every one. Verse 17. And the king of Sodom went out. Listen right now. The king of Sodom went out <coughs> after Gomorrah has been conquered. Went out and met him after his return from, from the slaughter of Chedolama. <laughs> Those people that raised their ugly head in 2021, you will disgrace them in January. Hello? Hello? God told me. God told me my son arise and raise me men and women of right standing with me. I will make with them a covenant of peace. My people shall lie down in the wood. When you raise them, I will make with them a covenant of peace. They will lie down in the wood and no, 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 no shall make them afraid for in their time. And in their season, there shall be showers of blessing. He said, Thou shalt bring them to the knowledge of truth. You also have a duty, my son. Bring them to the knowledge of truth, not the knowledge of you. Yes. Papa, when you discover the Papa, Papa, just see that. Papa, Papa. Hello? Papa, what? You want to kill me? I'm not Papa. I'm the Jesus boy, just waiting for him. He's simple. And by this truth, they will reign as kings, not crawlers, not crawlers. No, no. Friday, you are a giant. March, you open many shops. I mean, ma- many. You will work in the company of the mighty. They will put containers in your hand. You don't need to know them. The ministry spirit will be speaking to them. And must say, one spirit is telling me now. There's a spirit telling me now to just give you these containers. There will be joy in the morning. There will be joy in the morning. <laughs> oh, child of God. 
I shall weep no more. There we be joy. Even if it is noon, it becomes a morning when you decide is the time for your liberty. I have entered some realm of revelations that every time I want to say, Lord, I'm just praying this you can continue. Lord, help them, let them see it. And God is saying, just teach one face, one steps in another. I'm drawing from the provision of heaven, from the treasury of his goodness. I, wa I, I, wa I want to enter a realm that every time your name come to my heart. I'm smiling on the road. Yes. Just hear bright say, ah, he's a mighty man. <laughs> uh, I just say, po! Jacob, I don't know. Ah! Here. In IWC, listen right now. In IWC, thank you, Holy Spirit, there are 142 men and women in 2022 who will be in controls of wealth in billions <laughs> and when when i'm walking like this they are walking i'm seeing wealth um i'm seeing honor i stand to speak and i said uh, there is something we need to do before the service finished, I'm already getting messages. Sir, please don't repeat that statement. Don't repeat that statement. He's already taken care of. He's already taken care of. Thank you, Lord Jesus. There are mothers in this house. A new realm of openings. Something we just first open. By August this year, you call your children. He said, I bought five of you lands. <laughs> Akusuta, <laughs> uh, I will make with them a covenant of peace, and none shall make them afraid. For I will eliminate every white beast from the land. I carry such grace that eliminate and eradicate evil. I don't know what is happening in your father's house, in your household. You are today translated into the kingdom of the God of all nations. Whatever I was common before in the family that you belong, now that you are in the family of Christ, you are exempted. Please have your seat. So the Bible says, after he slaughtered Chedol Homer and the kings that were with him, he killed everyone. At the valley of Shaveh, which is the king's dale, and Mekisedek, king of Salem, brought forth. The king of Salem, the Bible says, he has no source. Nobody can say anything about him. He was Jesus Christ. After he took a bold step to conquer, Jesus Christ brought forth bread and wine. Communion. Every time you partake of communion, you renew victory. <laughs> you, you renew victory. L listen carefully right now. One of my daughters and faith you know, God, God said to her, uh, answer their family, brought them in liberty. And then she says, sir, my friend needs to call me, call you, sir, from Ghana. So the friend called and was in pain. The thick darkness. And evil was over him. And then we were talking, I was just saying, God is faithful. You're coming out strong. Because God simply told me, you will speak the word to their life. You will teach them He's not ranting, ranting, 24 mountains. He didn't give that to me. He gave some. That's their own. 
my son as you say it you will have it he told me that clearly so i said to her god is setting you free at liberty he said there's this man of god he do this i said no i didn't come for that man of god let's focus on this one i came for and words were spoken as words were spoken she met her husband listen carefully online online across the sea she was in Ghana he was in the US online a black American now and I said okay we give glory to God for what God is said to do we give thanks we pray and the young man came flew in to Ghana want to marry her did the marriage I want to take her along the principality shot the heavens the guy went back he couldn't so we began to pray I saw that the demons in Nigeria hit you slowly, small, small. And, but the one in Ghana hit you once, gram. They just, you understand me? So, there is another dimension of wickedness. And we prayed and prayed. And God she went to the embassy, was refused, rejected. So we prayed. And this time, they gave her an appointment to come to the embassy. Listen carefully. She took, we prayed, held her international passport, put on the bed beside her, Kemo Suta Bika Barate. The international passport disappeared. The height of wickedness. Are you listening right now? Got to the interview. Interview was successful. Go home. Bring passport. No passport. From the pages of my heart, let my worship begin but never end. To the God of all flesh, from the pages of my heart, let my worship begin but never end. To the God of all flesh. And, and listen carefully. We prayed, we prayed. So I said to her, we began to call emissaries, ministering spirits. We need passports in 24 hours. Ministering spirits, raise men, raise men, raise men, raise men. And suddenly God raised me. I told her, that man, once the passport is out, don't bring it again to the house. Let it stay with the one who is doing the passport. So as you go there, you take the passports. I'm closing with this. You take the passport and then you just visit the embassy. When you take the passport and visit the embassy, don't come back home. From there, disappear. <laughs> are, are you listening right now? And she followed the instructions. From there, she disappeared and got reunited with her husband. Listen carefully. And they followed again. She prepared Listen carefully. And they were hungry. How can an American love a black person this much? And he went through pain just to have his wife. He could have said, since there are plenty things holding you, stay there. They attacked the young man. He was doing the same work where he fell from up. They broke his bone, broke his leg. Restoration came. He stood up. She prepared meal herself. It's she and the husband that lives at home. Prepare meal. Ate the meal. And the doctor said she has ate food poison. The food poison came out with a report that says her womb is damaged and she cannot carry children. He become another problem. I said, listen, look at me. In the name of God, put this phone call open to your husband. I, we come name your children. Yes. 
I don't know what they, they were they were carrying her like vegetable. Oh, sweet, oh, sweet, oh, sweet, oh, sweet. I said, in the name of Jesus, the name that's above every other. I wasn't giving anything else. I was giving a name, and at the mention of that name, every knee shall bow. Asha, 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 and God, the Father of all. The Bible says He that established the council of his messenger and bring it to pass the counsel of his anointed step into work my servant will say it i will hasten to perform it and right in there they say there's no way because they did the operations womb got damaged everything was ruptured they say we need to save your life not the womb if we save womb and there is no life what happens so i say now listen carefully the Bible says you will not cast your young. It's different time. They are in the U.S. We're in Nigeria. They will wake up after we are done from service. Sit down and watch the message again. Take in and take in. Take in the word. Take in. Take in. And I told her, continue there in, in the communion. What Jesus cannot fix remain unfixed. And there is nothing he can't fix. As I'm speaking to you now, she's heavily pregnant. And as the Lord delivered whom I serve and whom I am by the authority of his name on this holy altar. Nothing shall stand against the self delivery of that heart. <laughs> now I'm speaking over your life. On your life. On your life. On your life. On your life. In 2022, it shall be blessings everywhere. Hey. In 2022, it shall be blessings everywhere. If you care to listen, not to man, but to God, in the name of Jesus, it shall be blessings everywhere. It is done. Please have your seat. And Melchizedek brought bread and wine. He was the priest of the Most High God. And the declaration of the morning he said, And he blessed Abraham and said, Blessed be Abraham of the Most High God. Of the most high God and <laughs> the possessor of heaven and earth. There are men who are possessor of heaven and the earth. <laughs> oh my God. And when he was done blessing Abraham, he said, and blessed be the most high God. I, I want to speak on your life. Those friends, those relationships who have never seen anything good in your life, not another month, but in this January, my God will showcase you at the top. Yeah. And hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. By a prophet, Israel is saved. And by a prophet, Israel is preserved your prophet if i am one to you i speak in the name of jesus the top is where you belong the top will deliver the best to you the top will speak in your life if you believe it say amen three times you may please have your seat so and said, Blessed be the most high God, which listen carefully, which hath delivered thy enemies 
into thy hand. And then Abraham did something. He gave him tithe of all. As God is giving you the victory, give God back the tithe of all. So you don't have your bread cause. You just wake up. Wake up into reality. Tight your company. Tight the resources. Tight everything coming to your hand. Be committed. Just do your part. The Bible says that. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abraham of the most high God. Stand on your feet. Possessor of heaven and the earth. January 2022 is declared my month of possessors of blessings everywhere. Amen. My month of possessor of blessings everywhere. Amen. Because spiritually when you are partaker of the possessor of heaven and the heart then what you see is that you become the possessor of blessings everywhere. Oh. Now, I want you to exercise your authority in 120 seconds, two minutes, where you'll be opening your mouth with only anger and possessing blessings everywhere. I, I want God to hear your voice. Open your mouth. I am possessing blessings everywhere. There are no limitations with me. No limit. Come on. Come on. Be angry. Be angry. Be angry. Open your mouth. I am possessing blessings everywhere. I am possessing blessings everywhere. I am possessing blessings everywhere. I am possessing everywhere I turn to. I lose nothing. Everywhere I turn to, I lose nothing. Everything is speaking. Everything is working. Everything is yielding result. Everywhere I turn to, Yasake, Eluta, Apa, and Tadaka Paro, Infaru Shata. In Zute, Zika, Yantika, on every side, I am possessing blessings everywhere. I am possessing by the authority of the name Jesus. I am possessing blessings everywhere by His grace and by His help. I possess life, health, wealth, glory honor, breakthrough, advancement. I possess it. My children possess wisdom. My children possess understanding. My children possess grace. We are possessors of blessings everywhere. We are possessors. Yesa, Zake, Linto, Zapa, Yantika, Anteke. We are possessors in my house we are possessors of blessings everywhere in my home in our marriage we are possessors in my ministry we are possessors of blessings everywhere by the authority of the name jesus we are possessors of blessings everywhere i stand out this month as a possessor of blessings everywhere i stand out as a possessor in Jesus mighty name we pray open your hands is the first Sunday of the year I enlist you now in the name of Jesus as a possessor of blessings everywhere. Where 
others struggled for, what others are sweating for, when you step into it, it will answer with ease. <laughs> what has troubled men will not trouble you. Ah! By the authority of the name Jesus, your victory is ascertained. Right now, the work of your hands will speak success. You will advance. You will advance. It is done. Now tell me, in the consciousness of the spirit, I, Olua Femi, I boldly and confidently stand firm in this knowledge of truth that I am a possessor of blessings everywhere. So therefore, let the name of God be praised for all things are working in Jesus name. Come and celebrate him. Give him praise. Lift your hands. Honor him. Adore him. It's done you well. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Before we take our seats, I want us to stretch forth our hands.